When dumb cops make mistakes, the consequences can be massive. Not just for us, but for them too. Just like these three cops here, who messed up so badly they ruined their careers in seconds. Starting off with the first one who had quite some issues with his ex. In September 2023, a Pennsylvania state trooper was caught on camera physically assaulting his ex-girlfriend after abusing his power to have her involuntarily committed to a hospital. Ronald Davis, 37, allegedly obtained a warrant without disclosing their relationship and asked someone to record the incident. What is wrong with you? I don't need help. I need help. I need to get away from you. No. No. This is it normal? I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? Okay. I'm not going to any jail. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going anywhere. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What is wrong with you? Would you do this? <laughs> Would you? We can clearly see how distressed the poor woman was and what she was being forced through. Looks like she was trapped with this corrupt man who was actively taking advantage of his position of power to get her sent off to a facility. Okay. Please let me go. You just called the cops on me. You're a cop. You're a pussy. What the f is wrong with you? I've lived all over the world and not one time has anyone ever come up tackled me, attacked me, and called the cops on me for existing in the woods. All because of the consequences of your actions you don't like the truth. That's not, people like you shouldn't have any form of power. That's fucked up. But if you want to sit on me, and you call the cops on me for what? For what? Oh, because I'm around a sociopath who says he can do whatever he wants. Women are objects and can fuck whoever he wants. I'd be happy to tell them that. The officer in question is waiting for other cops to show up to help him through this tyrannical act of imprisoning an innocent woman. Insane. You're absolutely insane. You're insane. Like, and then you pay me to look insane as I'm sitting on the ground and my head slammed into this and that by a cop who called the cops on me. Do you realize how insane you are? In my life, this has never happened to me. Ever. Four months after meeting you, I get tackled. That's real disgrace. What the? What, what the are you doing? I don't need help. I just need to get away from you. That's the problem. I mean, I don't know why you don't like when your truth. I just tell it back to you. Like I don't know why you don't like that. But that's this is unacceptable behavior. Clearly, Ronald went against many lines of human behavior. The calmness with which he does this is terrifying. This man is a deviant psychopath. You give a shit about anything except yourself. And if this is caring, you have a very f***ed up delusional way of expressing it. Get me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong except disagree with you. Let me go. Me like that. Get off of me. This cop seems to have brought his authority, power, and home life into a troubling mix. If this is how he treats his own girlfriend, one can only imagine how he might treat civilians. I can't breathe. I can't. Don't touch me. No. Let me go, I can't, can I just sit up? No. I can't breathe! Why won't you listen to that? I just... I just... Please let me breathe. I can't, I can't. I need to, I need my shot. Even more troubling, the person recording appeared unfazed by this erratic behavior, indicating it was just another day for them. While he went out of his way to pick up Ronald's sunglasses to prevent them from being crushed, he seemed blind to the pure torture and assault happening right in front of him. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair.
ahead and put anything on my name or my record. Like, I didn't do anything. That's all I have. I didn't do anything. I don't, I don't think that's the situation. Huh? I don't think that's the situation. Nobody's here to hurt you. Then at all. Despite her pleas, the poor woman went unheard. A minute ago, her cop boyfriend had smashed her head into the gravel, yet the person recording said she was unhurt. Watch your antenna, dudes. Please. Please. I didn't do anything wrong. You can't take me anywhere. Stop pinching me. What did I do? Get me into like a tree like a human being, please. Can you do that? Can I stand here and put my things together? You can watch me all you want. You can watch me all you want. That's not fair. And I didn't do anything wrong to get away from you. What? Why are you treating me like I'm a criminal? I didn't do it. I can't just want to be able to stand. Can you pull them back and find out where they are? Mm -hmm. I, I, I just want to be able to stand. This isn't fair. I'll, I'll talk. I didn't do anything wrong. Yet another narcissist who believes the law is beneath him. It's sickening and chilling to witness. A narcissistic bully, wielding authority, intimidating a vulnerable woman who got tangled up with a corrupt cop. Let's hope the courts don't settle for a simple guilty plea, but seek the maximum sentence for his crimes. She's likely not his first or last victim. I didn't do anything wrong. Calm down. I didn't do anything wrong. 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 You can't take me against my will. I didn't do anything wrong. This case is exactly why people have no trust in those in positions of authority. It's a clear example of how power can go to someone's head, especially in law enforcement. You're not taking my things against my will. You're not taking me anywhere. It's not possible. You can't make up that I assaulted you. I just didn't agree with your truth. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just left. Like, I don't understand. Stop. Please stop so I can get the hair out of my face. That would be really nice. Please. What? Can I just get the hair out of my face? I can't go anywhere. The cops are on their way anyway, but I don't even know what I did. Please? 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 As Ronald detains her against her will against the hood of a car, the woman keeps pleading for a very simple thing, clearly out of breath from struggling with this man. She isn't even allowed to stand straight. Can I stand up, please? I can't breathe again. Okay, I just... I... Can I stand here? Can I just stand and get my arms back? I could just happy call them. I don't even lie right here. I didn't agree with the truth. <laughs> I put my, 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 my thing in the car. Why? I didn't do anything. What the f Even his hands greedily edge towards violence again and again. Trying to subdue those less in power than him must be his favorite hobby. Can I, you're, you're around my stomach again. I'm not even touching you. Well, what did you do just attack me? What, what is that going on? What is happening? Why? I don't like. The f I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. The woman is now pleading to the man recording in hopes that maybe his humanity might come to light. But both of these sleazy men continue to harass and assault the woman, labeling her as crazy when they themselves are a threat to those around them. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. 
Do why are cops coming for me? To help me with what? You? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all I, like, just... To go. Stand in main... I didn't do anything. Following this incident, Davis, who has been a trooper since 2015, has been suspended without pay in accordance with state law, and he has been charged with felony strangulation, unlawful restraint, false imprisonment, simple assault, and official oppression. But Ronald wasn't the only cop who was exercising his power wrongfully. This next cop really took it up a notch. Don't touch me. Right Don't fast. touch me. Don't hey, get off of me. Out. Get off of me. Get off of me. June 1st, 2023, Long Island audit. Sean was conducting an audit when things got really heated. Going in together. We're going to affect change together, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Is there a problem with us recording in the precinct? Because we have the law right here that says that we are, are specifically allowed to record in the precinct. So this is the sign that they're always referring to. What do you think holds more weight, ladies and gentlemen? This sign, members of the public are prohibited from audio video recording or photography inside this facility or the actual law. Let's find out. Hey, how you doing? Can I? Can, I'm gonna ask you to step out. Can I please speak to a supervisor? First, you're gonna have to step out. I have a law right here. You want to take a look at it? Have to step out for me. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. In audit videos, this keeps happening. Cops and officials care more about what signs say around buildings than what the actual law says, and that ends up denying us our right to film in those public places. Touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get now off of me. Read the law that says right, I have the right to do it. Now You're a law enforcement talk. officer. Read the law. It fell over there. You to talk, I'm talk. going inside where I have the right to record. I do. I have the right to record. I'm not. Re you nope. Leave I'm not leave. trespassing. I'm not trespassing. No, I'm not trespassing in a building that I pay for either. There was no reason. Why would you put your hands on me that way? My paper is there. That doesn't mean you can put your hands on me. Let me speak to a supervisor. Let me speak to a supervisor. Right, this is ridiculous. Right. You, it's ridiculous that you're not, you're not following. You you. Listen. I, did, I asked him, him to leave. You're with him? He refused to leave. Documenting. You're documenting? All right. Just talk step out for me. Please don't touch me. All right, then step out. Don't touch me. Don't step out the facility. All right, so step out the facility. Hey, get off of me. Get off of me. Just picture getting kicked out of a place that you're actually paying for. Well, that's exactly what went down with Sean. These badge-wielding tyrants storm in, shove Sean out the door, all while he's waving the law right in their faces. But are you scared? I'm, I'm going into my building. We pay for this building. Yeah, we pay for this building. That's right. We do pay for this building. We pay for this. I'm waiting for the supervisor. And my, my property's inside of this building right now. My property's inside of this building right now. My property's inside of this building. I'm getting my property. Yo, step back. I'm getting it. Don't step push back. me. Yo, what are you doing? Step back. Yeah. What are you pushing me back. for? What are you pushing me for? No one's scared of you. 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 Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's not my paper. That's not my paper. It's inside. It's inside. What are you pushing on me for, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't touch me. What are you pushing on me for, man? What's wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you guys? For trust, I can't trespass in a public area. The cops continued with this barbaric act. Is that really their idea of de-escalation training? It's crazy to think that despite de-escalation training, we're seeing results like these. It just goes to show how lightly they're taking this issue. Property. I want my property. Right, so step out, let go of the door. My property's right, inside so this building. My property's inside this building. My property's inside this building. Grab me my pop, grab me my property. Grab me my, grab me my property. You guys are out of control. Look at the law. Look at the law. Look at the law. Look at the law. I'm not resisting. I have a thousand dollars in my pocket right there. Don't take it. I'm not resisting. I'm just making sure that you don't have to resist. Drop things. Put your hands behind your back. Look at the law. I'm not resisting. All right, so put your hands behind your back. 
All right, so pay your answer down in your back. You were looking for this. I was looking for what? This, this interaction. I was looking for you to take a- Hats off to Sean for his courage and determination. He keeps going back into the building, recording everything, even though he knows the risks of being arrested or mistreated by corrupt cops, all for the sake of raising awareness. Freedom? Why would I want you to take away my freedom for it? Why would I want you to take away my freedom for it? Ridiculous. Read the law. Read the law. You don't like cameras, ma'am? You don't like them. I just don't use violence against me. You don't like transparency. Same as that. I'm gonna ask you to step out until we're done. I'm gonna ask you to step out. I'm not using violence. I'm not using any force against me. You're very violent. Stay outside. Like all the door. You're a violent, abusive man. As Sean is unlawfully arrested and taken away, even his cameraman isn't allowed entry into the building. After that, we can hear the dialogue between Sean and the cops from his mic. You want to read that law? There's a <laughs> law that says that. I'm, be I'm being, I'm being serious. You want to document your own experience? Well, what, what I'm saying is, you arrested me on what? On what? Go ahead. I'm arrested. I'm, I'm placed under arrest for what? For what? For what crime? No. For what crime? For trespass. How does, how does trespassing, how does trespassing officer, how does it, how does it supersede? Not only my constitutional rights, but it supersedes New York State and New York City law. How does it do that? No one has their body cameras on? Okay. So how does, how does trespassing supersede New York State? I'm going to do this first? I'm here. I'm here. I can speak, man. I'm not going to answer you. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Yeah, go ahead. No, I don't need medical attention. The cops explained that he was arrested for trespassing. That was just a cover-up so they could get their hands on his camera and stop his recording. But that didn't stop his cameraman from getting some audio from inside the precinct. I came here with a law to show you, and you don't want to see the law. None of you. One, two, three, four, five, six different law for I have a right to record by New York State and New York City law. No, it doesn't. Read the law. It's laminated right there for you. It's laminated right there for you. Read the law. Read the law. You have my, you have my information. You don't need it. Is it a crime for me not to give you my number? Yes, I'm refusing to give you my phone number. You don't need it. No one wants to read that nice laminated law, huh? No one wants to read the law. It's a law. You are a law enforcement officer. You are a law enforcement officer and you're going against New York City law. And he was not wrong. New York law protects public's right to record in police precinct lobbies. The New York State Right to Record Act, NYSRTRA, enacted on July 14, 2020, provides that a person not under arrest or in the custody of a law enforcement official has the right to record law enforcement activity and to maintain custody and control of that recording and of any property or instruments used by that person to record law enforcement activities. I'm not causing a ruckus by, by peacefully recording. That's not causing a ruckus. For what reason? For what lawful reason, sir? What lawful reason? Sir, I came here with, you guys are law enforcement officers. I came here with a law. I came here with a law to show you, and you don't want to see the law, none of you. One, two, three, four, five, six different law enforcement. I have a right to record by New York State and New York City law. New York State and New York City law gives me the right to record. No, it doesn't. Read the law. It's laminated right there for you. Eventually, Sean was charged with obstructing governmental administration, criminal trespass, and trespass. Sean eventually battled these in court and shared the results in an update on February 2nd, 2024. First, Sean's lawyer discusses facial sufficiency in the simplest way possible. Whenever somebody is charged with a crime, the very first step is for the accusatory instrument, which is in, in Brooklyn, New York, it's a criminal court complaint. It has to make out allegations that make out a crime and they have to tell you what that crime is. So in your case, if they were charging you, for example, with uh, obstructing governmental administration, which is the most serious charge they have on you, they'd have to have an accusatory instrument that when you read it without looking at any evidence, just based on what the allegations are, it has to make out a crime. Um, that's facial sufficiency. Basically saying that the allegations should be so straightforward that no other evidence should be needed to justify them. Ultimately, the judge found all of the charges on Sean facially insufficient. 
Hence, the court finds that this charge is facially insufficient and must be dismissed. And the same logic would apply to the simple trespass, which is an infraction. It is not a misdemeanor. The allegations do not demonstrate how the defendant prevented the door from closing, whether it was by means of intimidation, physical force, or interference, and what government function was being obstructed. Hence, the court finds that this charge is facially insufficient and must be dismissed. The defendant's motion to dismiss is granted. The court need not address the remaining arguments in the defendant's motion as they have been rendered moot by the dismissal of this case pursuant to speedy trial. All charges against Sean were eventually dropped during the trial. Furthermore, the judge ruled that the NYPD must adhere to the laws allowing the public to record in public lobbies and any sign stating otherwise must be removed. Defendant is hereby enjoined from enforcing the procedure in NYPD police precinct lobbies, except to the extent consistent with the New York State and City Right to Record Acts. Defendant is further required to remove any signs inconsistent with this order. We have been unlawfully arrested a total of nine times with zero criminal convictions. We the people did it yet again. If you thought these cops were clueless enough to not know their own laws, this next case will make you question just how utterly irresponsible some officers can get. They are the wrong person. I'm on my way to Walmart to get my kids some food for the rest of the week for school next week. Jamie Kimball recorded the moments after getting into an accident with a police cruiser from Fairfax PD. They stopped the wrong person. This officer here, 4383, head on collision. I'm sitting at the light. I'm sitting at the light and he comes and hits me from the front. She was clearly stating who was in the wrong here, but the situation worsened when another fact was taken into consideration. Hits me from the front, claiming that I was in a high-speed chase. I've been in the hospital, having my- A high-speed chase? Interesting. Kimball had explained that she had recently given birth and was on her way to get groceries for her kids when her path crossed with these officers. She alleged that the police cruiser collided head-on with her vehicle while she was stopped at a traffic light. They had the wrong person. I'm on my way to Walmart to get my kids some food for the rest of the week for school next week. Head on collision, 4383. Remember this police car. Turns out she wasn't entirely alone. Today goes today. Wait, you what happened? Yeah, you had the wrong person. Your car. No, maybe it was a car like mine. I, I was in the hospital. If you call Alexandria, I know the hospital. I was in there from the 22nd. She claimed the officers did not use lights or sirens before the collision and described the incident as jarring for her children. Damn, they got another goal point. They got another goal point, y'all. Gold star for you. Gold star for you. You. Kimball explained that the title of the vehicle was recently transferred to her name and that the police might have mistaken her for the previous owner, and that the new ownership information had not been updated correctly with the Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm not sure if that explains the ramming of her car in the middle of a traffic intersection without any warning. I'm kind of curious what charges are on the previous owner. It's an unfortunate reality that officers like these individuals, as well as those like Ronald Davis, rarely receive any sort of justice. Which of these cases was the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already, and be sure to stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows, it might be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.